Hey guys, welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. We're back, and we're just trying to see if we have any evidence to present. If not, he will walk away. If so, then we'll keep him here for another day. Well, not another day, for this day. It's the last day. So we gotta find a concrete proof that ties him in with... Um... Concrete proof that ties him in with him talking to, um, Lana, that he's working with her. Although he is a head honcho, she's working for him, really. And the only thing I can think of that could link him to her driving, like, him in the parking lot, I think, is a phone, but I don't think that's good enough, because she said muffler. So maybe she was telling someone that she put the knife under the muffler, and it's probably him telling her to put it under the muffler. What's this? Oh. Whatever. I don't think I have anything, though. I mean, I could try this. But I don't think I should. Let's see what happens if we say I have no proof. Maybe something will happen. It's no use showing evidence. I'm not even sure about myself. No, you, no, Your Honor. At present, I have no conclusive evidence. Humph. <laughs> See, Yaji? In that case, this court is forced to penalize you. Oh, no! What? I don't gamble unless the stakes are high. It seems that Lady Luck was on my side again today. Again, today. Do you see how he says that my eyes hurt? He hurts my eyes and my heart. Not the same way Emma hurts my heart. Okay, Yaji. Okay, Yaji. I'll leave the rest to you. I warned you earlier, Mr. Wright. This is an affront to a senior officer in our nation's law, law enforcement agency. <sighs> wow! Oh, thank goodness. Lady Luck, hmm. Maybe we should have a word with her. Mr. Edgeworth, what do you mean? Edward is such a freaking badass. I can't even, words cannot describe how much he is so good to me. There's one lady who knows the real truth behind this trial. We haven't yet had the honor of hearing her testimony. A lady who knows the truth, another witness. In the absence of conclusive evidence, the only other method of proof is the testimony. But Chief Gant has invoked this right to refuse to testify. There's still someone else, one more witness who can answer all the questions. Raised in this trial, Someone right in this very room. Mr. Edgeworth, who is this person? Huh. Why are you asking me, Your Honor? Have you forgotten? The defense is on the one calling witnesses today. Mr. Wright, does such a witness exist? She may not be willing to tell the truth, but we can we can't just stop now. Yes, Your Honor. The defense calls oh, the defense calls forth. The last person, hopefully. Or not the last person, hopefully her, then back to him so that he can poop himself on stage. Lana Sky. The defendant? Is Ms. Lana Sky? She was the underground she was in the underground parking lot at 5 15 p.m. on February 21st. Holy crap, is it February 21st? Oh today's the 22nd. Oh damn, I should have recorded this yesterday. Her ta oh no, it's not the 21st. This is actually what, 23rd? I don't know. Dispose of the victim's body. In accordance with a certain someone's orders. Hmm, Mr. Edgeworth? The prosecution has no objections, Your Honor. Very well. The court will now take its final recess for the day. In 15 minutes, we will reconvene to hear the defendant's testimony. This court is now in re. Hold on. Huh? Huh? Who said that? Oh, it's him. <laughs> I thought it was Lana. Chief, Chief Gan, I thought you were going to eat. Listen good, Lana. Listen good, Lana. He's talking to Lana. I don't think you need me to tell you this, but if you accept Mr. Wright's claim, there will be terrible consequences. How is he threatening people in front of everyone and everyone's not doing anything about it? Come on, people. That's right. Your sister will be found guilty for Neil Marshall's murder. Ugh, this isn't good. Of course. You'd never support such outrageous claims anyway, right? Just something to think about. Alright then. 
I've got launch day to me. I... If I saw this man... <laughs> yes! Yes! Do you not see, Judge? Oh, okay, if there aren't any further objections. This court is now in recess. February 25th, 2.04 p.m. District Court. Defendant Lobby, number two. Looks like we managed to stay in the game. Yeah, thanks to your help, Edgeworth. That chief? He's something else, eh, pals? Detec detective Gumshoe. <laughs> I'm not a detective anymore. Oh yeah, sorry about that. Uh, don't worry. I've already decided where to work now. At your office. My office? <laughs> sure. I'll take the place of that top knotted girl you used to work with. What do you mean? <laughs> Maya. Still, looks like we're all out of moves now. Chief Cat's done it again. How is it he always gets away over hand? It's not fair, he has the right to refuse to testify. <laughs> Settle down, right? Remember what the judge said? But Chief, this is not right to be casually revoked. There are certain risks to be considered. Risks? What did he mean by that? It's simple. If the Chief refuses to testify, the opposite also holds true. You mean he forfeits his right to say anything too? Who said that? Oh, Emma! Emma, are you okay? Yeah, when I came to, I was in the medical office. I've been listening to the trial from the gallery. So the... She heard everything that's been going on. Um, Emma, I'm sorry for what I said before. No, don't be. It was the truth. You know, it's funny. I must feel somehow relieved. Relieved? Yeah. Now I finally know what really happened. To think that all this time, my sister was being blackmailed by the terrible man. And she did it all just to protect me. Ever since... <clears throat> ever since her appointment as chief prosecutor, everyone who knew her said she changed. Perhaps it was easier that way for her. What? What do you mean? What do you think I mean? To follow Chief Gant's orders, she must have shut herself up deep inside to force, to force herself to do anything and everything that she told her to do. That must be why she became so cold. That whip so cold? It was my fault. It's not because I, I murdered Mr. Marshall. Hey, don't go blame yourself now. If you want to blame anyone, blame society, pal. <laughs> Thanks, Obama. <laughs> Gumps you well. Chief, Chief Kent may be able to fool everyone else with his forgery. He can't fool my memory. I remember now. I knocked Mr. Marshall into that armor. I, I see. Well, we better get back. It's time. Well, we get better get back. It's time for the final act. <sighs> Emma, why don't you wait here? No, I'm going with you. I want to be there when Lana tells the truth. Let's go, right? It's time to end this. Whew. Together. I am so hyped. It's literally like 1 o'clock in the morning. I'm super hyped. Save clear stage era. Yeah, let's do it. I can't read properly, but I will persist because the story is so good. It's one of those stories you have to just keep on reading and going through. My voice is not the same anymore. I am like a professor. And college. Okay. Remember between 5 2 21 p.m. District Court, Court number 9. Alright. Alright, at least Gats. Gant. I don't know his name anymore. Oh my gosh. Now then, will the defendant, Miss Lana Sky, please take the stand? Alright, Lana, let's do it. Not do it like that. Let's do it as in, like, let's get down to business. Not down to business. Let's answer some questions. Miss Lana Sky. You're the chief prosecutor. I'm sure you're aware of what is required of you. But Mr. Edgeworth, you already know everything. You know all that I've done the, these past two years. Please provide the court with your testimony, Miss Guy. And remember, you are under oath. We want to hear the truth. Of course, the truth. Lana, no matter what happens, I'll always be your sister. Yeah! Now then, your testimony, if you will. First, tell us about your relationship with Gant. Everything hinges on your testimony. You're the only chance we have to get Gant. Let's get this guy. Gant and the Fabrication. I worked alongside Gant for years. There's no truth to this blackmail theory. 
I fabricated the evidence two years ago all by myself. When I found Prosecutor Marshall's body, I rearranged the crime scene. My only motivation was to get Dark convicted. It had nothing to do with Emma. That's hard to believe. You were cradling her in your arms. Hmm, are you sure about this testimony? Your Honor, I'm confessing to a capital offense. Of course I'm sure. No one would confess if it's capital offense, first of all. But Lana... If this is true, then that means Chief Gant has nothing to do with this. That's what I've been telling you from the beginning. Please, Mr. Wright, you've got to help her. We're going to object that shit as you watch it. But what if she's telling the truth? She's not. I know my own sister. Whenever she speaks stiffly like that, she's hiding something inside. Deep down, she's really screaming in agony. Yeah, this is no time to start second-guessing that myself. Phoenix, you almost ruined it. <laughs> the defense may now begin its cross-examination. Steve the Sedgeworth, we got this. I worked alongside Gant for years. How many years exactly? Ever since I made senior detective. Let's see, I was 24 then, so that would be 5 years. Whoa, how old is she, 29? Detective Gant and Detective Sky was legendary partners. I personally saw them testify in numerous cases. She must have been good, coming from the same school as Mia. Damon Gant was a respectable detective, that's why. There's no truth to this blackmail theory. There's so much against him, though. The only reason why he's still not here is because he's stupidly in charge. But think about this guy. You did murder Detective Goodman. You told me that as much yesterday in jail. You still don't get it, do you, Miss Wright? Any testimony you cannot press present in court is as useless as an idle gossip. I stabbed Detective Goodman with a knife. And? I fabricated the evidence two years ago by myself. Come on. Now she's just super scared. Did you do this to help your sister? Joe Dark was a serial killer. My sister almost became his last victim that day. I didn't want that incident to ruin her life. But what she did was just a viable self-defense. She wouldn't have been charged with anything. That's not the point. She was traumatized that day, all because of that creep. That's why I couldn't forgive him. Lana. So that's why you fabricated the evidence two years ago? She sounded like, she said stuff like creep, so it sounded like she was taking it more like offensively, like personal. So I think she definitely cares about her sister, so that's it. We know who you are. You're a caring and beautiful woman with a nice muffler. Scarf. Not, not anything you guys think. Not muffler as in. Whatever you guys can think of. Okay. When I found Prosecutor Marshall's body, I rearranged the crime scene. You say you did this all by yourself? Yes. Would you mind would you mind telling us what you found when you arrived at the crime scene? It seems I was the first person to discover the scene. The broken prosecutor award knife was stuck in the victim's body. What? The prosecutor Marshall died from an unfortunate accident. That's only a situation you dreamed was possible. The reality is, it wasn't my sister who took the prosecutor's life. Fantasize all you want, Mr. Wright, but I'll never change that statement. You mean, Prosecutor Marshall wound up being killed by Drake? Dark? <laughs> Drake? Just the Drake again. He's coming back. Something like that. If that is so, what happened to the other murder weapon? Dark was carrying a switchblade knife. Oh? That was lying on the floor a little distance away. It was probably knocked away in the struggle. That's not how it went down. She's trying to cover it up. Lies with more lies. All just to protect me. So when you found a scene like this, what did you do? After all, this is what everything boils down to. Yes. I broke off the tip of Dark's blade, planted it inside the wound to move the body. Well, tune in next time, guys, for more Phoenix Race Tourney. We're running out of time once again. Oh, man. She is so, like, emo right now. It hurts me. And now I say emo. And don't, like, emo people don't take it as emo. I'm just saying she's very emotional right now. She refuses. She's, like, closing herself out. She's, like, Mikasa and Tekken Titan. She does not want people to see how she really feels. And that's not good. All right, tune in next time. Nani? Sore wa? Old day anime?